Right now, stars, uh, SpaceX's Starship is sitting on a launch pad in South Texas. The company is hoping to lift off between 8 and 9.30 this morning. This comes after a years-long testing campaign. Our Zach Lajway is joining us live from the newsroom this morning with more on that launch. Good morning, Zach. Sophia, good morning. As Owen just mentioned, there is a 90-minute window to get what could be the most powerful rocket ever flown off the ground. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk tweeting early this morning Starship launch attempt in minus seven hours. Now we are less than two hours away from the start of that launch window. Over the weekend, Musk said there's a good chance the launch will be postponed since SpaceX is being very careful about this launch. Musk has said his sole purpose of founding SpaceX was to develop a vehicle like Starship to establish a human settlement on Mars. If today's launch takes to the sky, the inaugural flight will not complete a full orbit around the Earth. If successful, however, it will travel about 150 miles above the Earth's surface. Starship consists of two parts, a super heavy booster and a ginormous rocket that houses 33 engines. Starship, the spacecraft itself, will use its six engines to propel itself to near orbital speeds after it separates from the rocket booster that will be discarded in the ocean. This was the scene at SpaceX's Starbase facility in South Texas last summer when an engine spin start test did not go as planned. Elon Musk tweeting SpaceX personnel did get the data from the test they needed. So what's riding on today's launch? Some would say a lot, not only for SpaceX as a company, but also the ambitions of the U.S. government when it comes to human exploration. As we know, NASA has awarded SpaceX contracts to use Starship to ferry government astronauts to the surface of the moon under the Artemis program. So a lot going on, a lot of cool things happening. Owen and Sophia? Yeah, oh, can't wait. A couple hours to go. I love watching it. Thanks, Zach.